Rotlicht im Gewächshaus. There's a submersible pump running through the center of each of these stacks of planters is a PVC pipe. At the top of the pipe is a bubbler. Solution gets pumped up, drips down, whatever the plants don't pick up is collected and reused. Uh, used to getting their nutrients, air of oxygen, but they're missing. So that's just the spray boxes. What we'll do is... So I'm trying to get as much out of a limited amount of space. For example, right here, in this space where we're growing four pepper plants, in your garden you might get one or two at the most. Now this is not an aeroponic system. You'll notice in each planter box there's a plastic bag. That plastic bag is filled with rock water. Rock water is made by taking a volcanic rock, crushing it, 
And then when it comes time to harvest, instead of going down and picking up the cucumbers out of the dirt, you just walk on through and twist them off. The other is, this canopy is going to grow in quite thick. And look at all of this. And that's running off and affecting the groundwater and causing them all sorts of problems. So they're cultivating and harvesting aquatic plants and animals for food. As a matter of fact, aquaculture is the fastest growing segment of agriculture worldwide. Over the last five years, it's growing at an annual rate of 10 to 12 percent. Up in the top two here are red crop crawfish. These are native to Australia. They'll actually grow large enough to produce a pound to a because anything that falls in there becomes their property. They will immediately claim it, and there's no way I can get it back for you. The other is I've been told that alligators are capable of jumping vertically and horizontally a distance equivalent to their weight from tip of snout to end of tail. So as you can see, it's pretty close. So I do not want any of my guests to give new meaning to the term hand feeding the alligators. Anyway, this is the American alligator. Not too long ago, the American alligator was an endangered species. But through the cooperation of the wildlife department and Weg mit dem Rotlicht. vegetarians. Now, a lot of people who keep tropical fish in tanks at home will have paku when they're very young. They have a nice, bright red belly. They're actually called the red-bellied paku. As they mature, they lose that coloration. These are about 15 to 20 pounds. There have been cases of paku growing as large as 70 pounds in... Genug fish, wie wir es mit Bananen. way back in the biotechnology lab on the shaker table. Now back to the banana plant. Right here where you see this bunch of bananas that are developing, you can see the definite groupings of hands with two rows of fingers. Now this cone at the bottom, what that rock is lifting up and on this side you can see examples of it further along where it's starting to curl back, it'll actually fall off. So now when you go into the store and see the bunch of bananas, whenever you see the individual hands, you'll know where they are. In five days, they ferment. Then you leave them out in the sun to dry. Then people who are called cacao graders come in. And based on the properties of the cacao, they grade it A, B, C, or D. And there's a significant difference in price between grade A and grade B, so you want the highest possible grade. After they grade it, the buyers come in, they bid on it, pay for it, and then it's shipped all over the world with various chocolate products. And finally, right on the ground below it, giving us different fruits. Sorry, es ist etwas Fisch übrig geblieben.
Ach ja, wir sind ja hier bei Disney, stimmt's?